For as long as I can remember, I have loved cricket. And the best person to talk, watch, and play cricket with was my grandpa, or as I called him, Tata. Every year when Tata visited, we both would play cricket every single day, watch every single cricket game, even if it started at 3 a.m., and talked about it all day and all night. For me, the three months that Tata came over were the best three months of my life. It was just cricket, cricket, and more cricket. But all of this changed my fourth grade year. This time when Tata visited, he couldn't pick up the bat correctly, couldn't hold the ball without dropping it multiple times, and couldn't watch a game for more than 20 minutes without straining his eyes. Just the year before, we were playing three-hour games and watching six hours of cricket. And now, Tata couldn't even hold the ball correctly. Tata had been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. And the doctors told him there was no cure to his ailment other than a very complex surgery that, that is out of the equation due to his very old age. And to me, a naive 10-year-old, nothing made sense. How could such a healthy and energetic man get to this level of weakness in one quick year? But as time passed on, I came to a realization. A realization that my Tata is not alone in his struggles. According to the National Institute of Health, in 2023 alone, 1.5 billion people, or 15% of the global population, is disabled due to disorders of the brain. This includes people suffering from Parkinson's disease, brain tumors, and tremors. Unable to eat, walk, or talk normally, they live a life without access to many things most of us take for granted. And they are not the only victims. Every family member and every friend is victimized by their disease, constantly praying for a magic cure, but getting disappointed every single time. And it is very possible that some of you in here have seen your child, siblings, parents, or even grandparents fall victim to one of the many unsolvable neurological disorders and have been left there, confused and in denial of how quickly someone can change. Even worse is to think about a family's pain when a loved one passes away, all because of an unsolvable problem in their brain. Thankfully, my family has not had to go through this, but we get pretty close every time a complication arises in Tata. And every single time a complication arises, it sends a chill down my spine to think about the fact that I might not have my best cricketing buddy with me anymore. But what if I told you that there is hope? What if I told you that an FDA-approved treatment might be the solution to this problem? And what if I told you that my Tata may have a chance at normal life again. This solution is called high-intensity focused ultrasound, or as I like to call it, HIFU. HIFU is a medical procedure that, is, that can be used to treat multiple neurological disorders, including brain tumors and movement disorders like Parkinson's disease and tremors. HIFU is a very minimally invasive procedure. The idea for HIFU first came in 1944, when John Lynn and Tracy Putnam noticed the destruction of brain tissue in mice when they shot focused ultrasound waves at the brain. Using their initial discoveries, doctors have been able to devise a method to use HIFU to basically melt away the problem-causing part of the brain, be it a tumor or damaged neurons that are causing tremors. The to provide a better analogy for HIFU, think about shining sunlight through a magnifying glass to concentrate heat on a certain point. By concentrating HIFU waves at a localized point in the brain, a surgeon is able to destroy the malignant tissues in the most non-invasive way possible. HIFU neurosurgery is so non-invasive that patients don't even receive anesthesia. This is what makes HIFU truly revolutionary. Patients with brain disorders are normally of a very old age, making traditional surgery a very complicated scenario because the aged body can sometimes not handle incisions, anesthesia, or opening up the brain. 
In 2016, the FDA approved the use of HIFU for the treatment of essential tumors, allowing Dr. Michael Caplet to perform one of the first ever HIFU brain surgeries in the world. After performing a successful surgery, Dr. Caplet went on to say, Focus Ultrasound has the potential to transform treatment, allowing us to act, gain access deep within the brain without harming any healthy tissues. Dr. Caplet also saw a future where HIFU would be instrumental in curing movement disorders like tremors and Parkinson's disease. Similarly, in 2022, the Children's National Hospital performed the first ever HIFU brain surgery on a child. The child was diagnosed with neurofibromatosis, a condition where tumors develop all across the nervous system, including in the brain, in the spinal cord, and in the nerves. Dr. Robert Keating, the chief neurosurgeon and the head of the HIFU program at the Children's National Hospital, stated the use of high intensity focus ultrasound in our pediatric patients is a quantum leap towards non-invasive treatment for our kids, allowing for low risk of complication and no exposure to radiation. Just like an elderly person's body, a child's body is also very fragile and sensitive to radiation and incisions, making HIFU's application even more versatile. Coming back to the treatment of movement disorders using HIFU, Boyet Kabiles and Harvey Bernard were two men suffering from severe Parkinson's. Seven-year-old Harvey called it the pain of his life. Both these men were looking for an option that did not include open brain surgery. Bernard insisted, I'm not in pins being put in my head or being cut open. Both these men found HIFU while they were surfing the internet and the procedure did not fail to impress. After the procedure, Kabilis explained, oh my god, my tremors have significantly reduced. And Bernard's reaction was, wow, I feel wonderful. Seven years, seven years of this, and it's all gone. These two men are two of the many whose lives have been changed by this technological and scientific marvel. Thanks to some amazing properties of sound waves, we are witnessing a new biomedical revolution unfold in front of us. And with more research being conducted every single day, HIFU will be the procedure that will change lives and keep families together. With more funding for research and development, HIFU will be able to traverse the world, reaching all the corners, from developed nations to undeveloped, north to south, and east to west. And with that, maybe, just maybe, there is some hope that Tata and I can go back to playing three hours of cricket and watching six hour games after he gets rid of his now solvable problem.